everybody, and welcome to another edition of the Quadcopter Review. I'm your host, Pepe Prawns. As always, make sure you look in that upper right-hand corner right away, see what the latest giveaways are, and what kind of action we got going on around the channel. Today, we're going to be looking at the HB FPV HB65. Now, this is a brushless micro whoop, and I got mine in FR Sky, and it is available at Banggood, and I think it's around $113 at the time of this video. So, let's go ahead and look at what we got in the box. Now the first thing we got is the HP 65 quadcopter itself and it is preset at an angle around 20 degrees. The next thing we have is our FR Sky receiver and that comes ready to be plugged right into the quadcopter. We also get a 260 mAh HV battery and that comes just one of those in the box. And we get us a little kit with a prop popper, a screwdriver, and a little USB style charger. You're also going to get a rubber band. We'll show you what that's for later. And you're also going to get a little piece of documentation that's going to show you where all the pins and such are on this flight controller. Now with winter coming, I decided to go out and get another 1S brushless just to see what else is out there and see what can compete with like say the UR65 or the Beta 65 Pro. Let's go ahead and look at what we got for specs on this little guy. First thing we have is 0603 16,000 kV motors. It's using the 31 millimeter prop. It has a 600 TVL 120 degree field of view camera. It is a 25 milliwatt only 48 channel VTX with its small antenna sticking out the top. It is available in FR Sky, Fly Sky, and DSMX. Again, I got mine in FR Sky and it is just as simple as plugging it in. It comes with a 5 amp BL Heli S ESE. And that can be set up to D-Shot 600, so you will have your turtle mode if you like it. It has an F3 flight controller with built-in OSD, and it comes with Betaflight 3.2, which you definitely want to get an upgrade, because I sure did. Now we're, again, as I mentioned, going to kind of compare this to uh, the Beta FPV Pro and the UR65, which are its competitors for that 1S category. So let's go ahead and put our little receiver on there and get this guy in the air. The only recommendation I have for you during this process is make sure you put the receiver far back enough that you can actually screw the canopy back on. Okay, let's take a look at some flight footage. Now you'll see right off the bat, we're starting with a 4.2 battery and these motors seem to consume some battery and pretty hard and pretty fast. So. You'll see both of these flights. I did two flights just to, you know, verify it for you on footage. And, and it seems to, to eat the batteries pretty quick. Um, it flies pretty well. Um, I wouldn't say it's as powerful as a UR65. Um, it probably does classify around the same as the Beta 65 Pro. Um, the camera is outstanding. Um, Right now, in my opinion, if you're looking at 1S brushless, the two I mentioned, the Beta FPV Pro and the UR65, the UR65 obviously financially being the best buy, if you're going to do something, if you're going to compete with these guys, especially with a $113 price tag that it was when I filmed this, you better have something outstanding. And for me, this camera blows away the camera on the UR65, uh, night and day. The, the camera almost looks close to HD quality, you know, like a like a 1080p uh, in my DVR. So, and it's even better through the goggles. So, if there's a standout on this little quadcopter, it is going to be this camera, and it is, I'm just really surprised how good it is for a 600 uh, TVL. So, that's going to be its high point. That's going to justify some of the expense. I mean, at this point, if you want to compete, I just don't know if $113 is is going to do it. That's just a, a bit too much for this kind of kind of quad, and especially when it's consuming. As you can see, I'm down to 3.0 already. You know, 
that's that's pretty fast within two minutes and this is a 300 mAh battery so let's take a look now here at something that most of these little guys don't do um they can do turtle mode but as you see there there was no way for me to get it to get itself corrected via turtle mode it just doesn't have the juice when you're in the grass with a 1s to get itself flipped over and i find this with most of all the well yeah, most of them. I, I can't really think of right off the top of my head. Maybe the UR65 does turtle mode good. I think that's the one I've shown you footage of that, that does turtle mode well. Um, but this guy doesn't. Um, you'll see I went through another pack here after this pack just uh, to try to turtle mode with a little fresher of a battery. And even with a fresher battery, no go. So that's not going to work. I mean, it... it sort of can kind of do acro i would put the ur65 above it as far as acro goes it does it much better than this little guy does uh, pretty much any acro move i tried to make it did flutter hard after it and if you've seen any of my footage of the ur65 you know doing flips between trees and stuff on my other channel you'll know that that one can do it and can do it quite readily without a bunch of prop wash so Yep, so that's it, guys. I mean, it's it's not bad. It's not horrible. I mean, it's worth having. It's not worth $113, unfortunately. If you see it come on sale, grab it. It's worth it if you see it on sale. Uh, you know, you get a battery, uh, you get the receiver. It's nice, but if it's not on sale, I, I don't think it's worth the money right now. And hopefully we'll see a sale on it. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by and checking out the quadcopter review. If you want to see more interesting reviews on FPV related stuff, take a look up here in the old right corner right there. You'll find links to all the rest of my reviews. If you want to get in on some of the best giveaways on YouTube, look over here. Don't forget to subscribe right here on my chin. And if you want to check out my flying only videos separated from the review channel, check that out right here. And thanks for coming. Don't forget to subscribe and happy flying.